Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing what's new in the 1.12.1 update and it's just one quick little change to the drop tool as you can see if when you click drop it'll drop to the ground it's as similar as pressing the end key what the end key can't do is change the direction so if I now go to up and click drop you'll see it'll go to the ceiling back and then do forward backwards and then left and right And then for cases where, let's say for example, the wall is really far away, just bring this over here, click drop, and you'll see now that the line trace isn't going far enough to be able to snap to this wall. So what you can do is come down to the settings, at the bottom here you'll see the drop distance. So I just change this to say 10,000, and then go back to drop, you'll see that will now do a much longer line trace, and it will hit this wall and snap over to the far side. So another thing to note as well is as you can see the scale on this cube is all set to 1 and if I click drop it will go to the, the, the wall but if I make this cube say 0.5 and then do drop it will still work and perfectly line up against the wall uh, so you can change the size of the mesh and it's all based off the bounds of the mesh itself. So that's it for this update, I know it's quite a short one but I had this feature ready so I wanted to release it without having to wait before I added a bunch more um, features to like create like, a new major update. And this fe feature suggestion was mentioned by uh, a guy named Ziggy on the Unreal Slackers Discord uh, and he was asking about being able to change in the different directions and because we already had the drop on level design tool because I thought it made sense to add the other five different axes. So yeah, that's it for this video and thank you for watching.